Uh, I want to wrap things up with our best five segment. It's rapid fire. Um, just five questions. Tell me your best. Okay. It's very simple, Stephen. Uh, the best player that you ever played with. Uh, David Beckham. <laughs> okay. All-star. Does that count? Does All-star. That count? All-star? Yeah, that's fine. You're just avoiding the conversation. Vela versus Javinko. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Was that intent? Like, I think there's an argument for both players in that category, but they're different players, aren't they? It's tough. Yeah. As far as uh, Vela and Javinko? Yes. Yes. Yeah. The different players, both unbelievable. Um, but yeah, best. I played with them on the, actually, you know what? I'm going to change that. Can I go with Henri? Yeah, He's sure. Best player. I think biggest name was Beckham, but that's why it came to my mind first. But Henri on that all-star team. So I played with him. He is by far the best player I played with. He was Blink on, on, on Vela versus uh, Javinko. Blink once if it's Vela, twice if it's Javinko, who's better? <laughs> You whip, you whip. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Javinko's in like Italy right now. He's not watching this. Uh, the best player you ever played against? Best player played against? Um, I mean, I guess you could throw Henri again in that uh, mix. Now, you know what? I think at the time, uh, Zlatan was so difficult to play against. He's just so big and difficult to mark. So I'll throw him in there. I think Henri slowed down a little bit in those final years, so it wasn't as difficult. But I'll, I'll say Zlatan. I think on that debut goal, I hate to bring it out, I think you were right there, right next to what he turned in ball, yeah. I was looking <laughs> back like this because Dayan got pummeled by Kamara. I'm like, that's a foul, that's a foul. Yeah, and right. Zlatan winding up. And I'm like, blow your whistle before he hits this because afterwards you're not going to blow it. And sure enough, he scores. Did he talk? Did he talk crap to you in the field too? He talks. He, talking? The whole time. he talks the whole time. Do you like that? Whether they're winning or losing, but I know he likes it, so I don't engage in it. You know, I'll I'll get my shots in and I'll just back up. But if you talk with him, I know he likes it, so I don't even engage it. Really? Yeah. He scored this. He, he scored this goal at BMO Field. I don't know if you know saw the highlights. It was just exactly. ridiculous. Poor guy. It's like, what are you yeah. supposed to do there? I'm yeah, like, your buddy. Get there. First of all, he's like eight feet tall, and then he gets his leg up even higher. You're like, this is not right. You shouldn't be this athletic. He's amazing. I think MLS really misses him, honestly. I mean, just he can play, the, the persona, just everything. For sure. Um, who's the best team that you ever played against, whether it's club or internationally? Uh, Argentina. I mean, if you want to say I wasn't on the field and that doesn't count, okay, I'll pick, I'll pick uh, someone in MLS, uh, Chelsea for the All Star team. Yeah, yeah that, that team was pretty good. That that was when Hazard just came over to Chelsea, and uh, you know, at the time I was I was playing right back, and I'm hearing a lot of talk about this guy, like how good he is. So, thankfully, I don't think he ever, you know, dusted me and made me look silly. But uh, but yeah, that team was pretty good. Do you ever wake up in a cold sweat thinking about that messy goal? Against uh, <laughs> field, I would be. Uh, that's how competitive I am. I yeah. there are multiple games in MLS where I just it still hurts me to this day. Uh, the best manager you ever played for? You played for some good ones. Yeah, uh, I honestly have a great relationship with all my past managers, and I can tell you, I still text all of them to this day. Uh, but as far as best actual managers i think bob has to be the best one as far as the attention to detail and just his style of play and describing exactly how he wants us to play i just i felt like there was just so much attention to every side of the team and the the way we defend and attack and every position it was maybe it was because it was the first two years so the team was brand new but Man, there was so much detail, and I, I just, I've never seen any coach in youth, college, professional have that much detail. It, it, it makes it that much more impressive. It did come with an expansion team, all players coming together so quickly as well. And finally, your best soccer memory. It might be a moment, might be a memory. What sticks with you? Uh, 2017, holding that MLS Cup. Uh, every player's dream is is winning the, the championship and we did that year so i i don't think anything can can beat that for me
I think there's people in Toronto still hung over from that day in, uh, in that night in 2017. Josie's, uh, <laughs> Josie's uh, parade speech still lives, lives on and, and people will never forget that. And that you know what, was- my, only, my only regret about that, about the ceremony at City Hall, I wanted to hear more from all the players, like all of you to get on the mic. It was great hearing from the, the owners and the, and the front. Office. Like that was great. But I was like, give me more of the players. Cause I wanted to hear more of that. Josie said enough for all of us. I think, okay. <laughs> I think you described it better than we could have even imagined. 